Zipster522 here, and today I have a special treat for you. Um, I'm Warlord. I decided to take a new stand to things, and I've rose to the level of the wooden sword. So, yes, you can see that the wooden sword is, in fact, an epic weapon. And basically, what I've done is I've taken my hammer and I've turned it into a wooden sword by right clicking on the weapon smith, going into weapon skin selector, and picking training sword. So, I will now be going into a CTF game and they'll think that I have a comment, but uh, they're going to get a real surprise. So, once 24 people join, we'll start the game up and let's wreck some people. <laughs> well, my sword's cooler than Firk's. My sword's so much cooler than Firk's sword. So basically, I've been destroying. I've been destroying so so many um uh warriors and mages recently. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Stick with Paladin class and you will win. Paladin class is pretty awesome. Been loyal to it ever since the server came out. Of course, I did go as an Osprey for a little bit and I played as a warrior until I was level 34 and then I got sick of how OP the warrior was and then I started playing as Paladin. Again, I went to 63. Tipping. Well, I'm gonna guard since no one is doing that. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure we win, so. Um, I'm just gonna go capture. Yeah, their team doesn't really stand a chance. That's kind of sad. If only Warlord pairs you up with people who are actually your level. And the games were even. Watch this. That's not even fair. I just died in three hits. That wasn't even fair. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, there's no red team here, so that's why I got capped. You know, this is capture the flag, so it is important to defend your flag, otherwise your team will lose. As you can see, there are no, there are no red defenders here. We're just able to roam their base freely, as we wish. So, y'all people who aren't defending, if you want me to just roam your base freely, that's what I'm gonna do if you don't defend. Anyway, continue on. To capping their flag with a wooden sword. I love the animation for that, it's hilarious. It looks like it's flying out of my hand. I throw this sword at you. Flies out of my hand. Miss. Miss. And it. Oh, okay. Well. You know, you shouldn't really sneak up on me, because that's just not a good idea. And I'm level 63, so, I mean, but, you know, you tried your best. You tried your best. You tried your best.
So what most people do when they have the flag is they just turn their back to the enemy. And, you know, that really doesn't help your team at all. You know, if, if you see your teammates trying to run around, protect you behind you, you should turn around and help them because they're more likely to be able to defend you if you do that rather than if you just have your back to the enemy the entire time so they can hit you. And then, you know, you drop the flag and it returns to their base because you, you know, didn't help your team whatsoever. It really is a team game in the world, so, you know... Basically, you just want to make sure that if your team does happen to have, or you happen to have the flag and your team is chasing behind you, make sure that you, um, you know, turn around and help them out. Yeah, and if no one's defending, that happens. So if no one was defending our flag and a guy got in, and no wow, you know, he just stole our flag. So that's another important part. While someone captures, it's good to have someone defending because I don't see that enough in this game. Not many kids get the concept of that. So just just keep in you know keep in mind that defense is the best. But there we go. And he's going to cap the flag again. Seven five and zero. Get the heels. Get the heels. Oh my God, that was so close. How did they not go for me? I just got really lucky. Like really, really lucky. And you know, you see another person with the flag, don't be mad that they have the flag and you want it just to cap it. Freaking defend them. Like, that's just stupid. I see so many kids, like, you know, they, they, they don't even defend their flag carrier. Don't do that. Don't be that person. No one likes that. Anyway, that's a GG. Cap it, it's a GG, GG. GG, please. But I want it. This is the perfect example of a team troll. Master short pants who won't cap the flag and we're about to win and he could save us time but instead he's just being a weenie. You can get banned for trolling your team too, just an FYI. Team trolling is banned. For winning. Oh, dude, 552. Five, <laughs> and I'm 522. Two. <laughs> Funny. GG.